Hello everyone, um, I'm Evan McKenzie. I'm the instructor for Political Science 101, Introduction to American Government and Politics. And uh, I'm just uh, recording a brief video to give you a, an overview of the course, some of the, the basics that you'll need to know. Um, I'm a professor and the currently the head of the political science department, and I'm also a faculty member at the uh, UIC School of Law, where I teach in the summers usually. Um, I typically teach in political science courses in American and urban politics and also law, including the judicial process course that I usually teach uh, once a year. It's Political Science 258, popular with um, pre-law students who like to take that course. I, uh, I do research on homeowner and condominium associations, um, housing policy, privatization, and also urban theory. Um, I was born in a small town in rural Maine, uh, uh, but we moved to California when I was a child, about nine. That's mainly where I went to school. I, I was um, a practicing attorney for 10 years in California. I'm, I'm licensed also in Illinois, but I went to UCLA Law School and um, did my doctoral work in political science at the University of Southern California. These are some of the books I've, I've written. Um, Privatopia and Beyond Privatopia are about homeowner and condo associations. And um, Private Metropolis is uh, the newest one. I wrote that with a couple of my colleagues. We edited that, really. Dennis Judd and Alba Alexander. And you can, you can take courses from Alba. Uh, she's teaching in the department. Professor Judd retired a few years ago. But um, Professor Alexander is uh, one of our more popular instructors. She teaches the course in Urban Politics, Political Science 210. Understand there are narrated uh, PowerPoints like this and other required readings um, on the Blackboard site in the folders that are under the Materials tab on that site. You don't have to buy books for the course. However, there is one additional book, uh, a book report project that people will do. You can get the book from a library, pass it around from your friends if you're all in the same um, discussion group or whatever. We'll explain that assignment in more detail, but you'll sign up for one book and do it in a, in a group, group presentation. Uh, this is a blended or hybrid course, so you're registered for two sections. The lecture section uh, is fully online and what we call asynchronous, meaning we're, I record it at one time, you watch it at a different time. Um, and, and the articles, as I said, are also there. And the discussion sections on Friday, those are live and on campus, and we will be taking attendance at those discussion sections. They're taught by your discussion leaders or teaching assistants, depending what you want to call them. Here's the catalog description of the course, which we we're supposed to present to you. Um, you can see it's about the political ideas um, that are at the heart of our system. It is also about the social science of it. You know, we political scientists have spent a lot of time studying uh, how the political system works, public opinion, and so forth. We'll study the institutions and also the political behavior aspects of it, and also study public policy. And it is a general uh, education course. By the end of the course, I hope you'll understand how the government affects you, um, some of the basic debates about issues that have been important throughout our history and into the present that you will understand how our institutions of government work and our institutions of politics, like political parties and so forth, work. You should definitely understand how the legislative branch, the executive branch, the judicial branch operate. We'll spend a lot of time on that. And, and you will learn a lot about political participation, the different ways you can participate, such as, you know, in um, political parties, uh, interest groups, social movements, etc.
the grades, again, explained in detail in the syllabus. Um, attendance and participation. Now, attendance means showing up for your discussion section. And, and also, um, part of this is your attendance at the, disc at the lecture session. Well, what does that mean since you're not even going to a classroom? We have discussion forums. Every week there's a question for you to answer. And so you can engage in conversation with me and with the other students about that question. And, and so every week, you know, we, we keep track of whether you are answering those questions, responding to those questions. The discussion board is on the Blackboard site. It's right there in the main menu. You'll see it. Um, midterm and final are, uh, I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute, but in more detail, but each is 30% of the total grade. Um, you'll do a film paper where you watch a film and write about it. And then the re book report project, and it adds up to 100%. Now, again, uh, on the, uh, I'm going through these in a little more detail now. You will take role in discussions. You will attend and participate using the discussion boards and also live discussion in on Friday. Uh, civility is important. Uh, it would be, you know, online and also in the discussion section. You know, you can d disagree as much as you want, you know, with somebody. You don't have to have respect for everyone's ideas necessarily and you should take issue with things that you don't agree with but we always have to be respectful of each other and conduct yourself appropriately in the discussion sections because we do pay attention to that the exams are 50 percent multiple choice and essay the um, essay questions are you're going to get a study guide a week before the um, exam it'll have 14 15 questions on it essay questions i will pick two or three of them that will appear on the exam you will choose one of those two or three that i chose but you will have seen all the essay questions and had all of them for a week the rest of the exam the other 50 percent is multiple choice that can potentially come from anything in the course the film paper you'll have detailed instructions you'll watch a film Write a two-page paper analyzing the film as a political statement. The film is, films are on a list. Um, and you will get detailed instructions on what questions to answer. Group projects, they're basically book reports. Uh, you work with a group. You pass a book around however you want. Break it up, divide it up. You'll write an individual paper for half your grade and a, and a group PowerPoint or Google Slides, whatever, presentation. You'll sign up for these in a week or so. And then there'll be extra credit. I usually um, provide opportunities to do, well, always actually, to do extra credit assignments. I'm not sure what they'll be yet. Uh, they will be scheduled talks by speakers on campus, that sort of thing. If you know of something that is coming up that, you, that everyone could potentially attend, um, again, not, it'll never work out for everyone's schedule, but you know. The idea is that we want to, if possible, let you make them available to everyone. So, in other words, we don't say, I want to go do this an extra credit thing just for me. We, it has to be available, at least theoretically, to everyone in the course. So, but if you know of something, let me know. Something coming up that I may not know about. Normally, if they're worth 10 points. And normally, we ask you to write a one-page uh, paper uh, about what happened and your reaction to it. So, we'll see how, many, how those come up. Now... Very important to read the syllabus to understand the policies. We don't want late papers, no late papers, uh, no makeup exams, unless there is a documented emergency. Documented means from a third party. So you must produce that. Please don't ask us. If you miss a discussion section, if you miss an exam, do not ask us if we want documentation. We want documentation. That's right there in the syllabus. There will, we will not consider any excuses unless they are documented from a third party. You know, uh, I was sick, fine. But to prove you were sick, we want, we want a doctor's note, etc. cetera. Um, academic integrity, read, a, read the policy. Um, don't use a, <laughs> artificial intelligence to write your papers. Uh, don't plagiarize. Let us know about religious holiday observances that are coming up, but you have to let us know at the start of the semester, okay? Same thing with disability accommodations. Let us know up front so that we can work with you. Um, written assignments will be turned in online on the Blackboard site using assignment boxes. They will be scanned for plagiarism. 
Um, that's done by a computer, naturally. And please read the course schedule carefully because uh, it tells you when things are due, all right? Uh, I have office hours. I, you'll see the times your, your teaching assistants will have office hours. I want to see you if possible, please. And I'm, I love talking with students. The drop-in hours or so-called office hours, those are available to you to come in and see me, to say hello, introduce yourself, ask questions, uh, discuss things. If there's problems, let me know. Of course, we're all available by email as well. So I'm looking forward to, um, I really hope that you enjoy the course. I'm looking forward to working with you on it. And I think it'll be a fun experience for everyone. I really hope so. So thank you so much and enjoy the semester.